Do you own a Godox SL60? Did you buy it because it was a really affordable option? Does yours make a lot of noise? Let's get into it. We all know the caveat of buying a Godox. We're also told that there's a newer version which doesn't make as much noise. And that if you buy from a reputable seller, you'll likely get the newer version. I did all of those things and still I ended up with a noisy Godox. Have a listen. Pretty bad, right? I couldn't take it. I also couldn't afford spending £700 on the Aperture 120D. And the Amran 100D is only a recent option, which I have bought. So I decided to replace the original fan with the Noctua NF-A8 ULN. What a name. <laughs> there have been lots of videos and articles saying that changing over to this fan does decrease the sound. So I went for it. The process of switching over is reasonably straightforward. I'll leave a link down below to a couple of videos that I've used as reference. It takes roughly an hour and doesn't even require a soldering iron. So if I can do it, anyone can. Trust me. So, was it worth it? Should you be going out and replacing it with the Noctua NF A8 ULN? Well, if the Amran 100D isn't an option for you because it costs the extra £100, then yes. However, you should be aware of a couple of issues that you might come across if you do decide to switch over to the Noctua. First, you'll have to get your hands dirty. I mean, you'll have to use a screwdriver and a wire cutting tool. That's about it, really. And the second thing, which a lot of other people have noticed, but I haven't, is that if you turn the brightness down below 20%, you'll encounter a flickering, which might mean that your SL60 is pretty useless below 20%. Now, this hasn't happened to me, but it could happen to you, so it is something that you want to keep in mind. Now, if you're okay with those two things, then you should 100% switch out the old fan with the Noctua, because the benefits outweigh the noise. It's as simple as that, really. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're looking for an alternative to the Godox in 2021 and beyond, then I'd highly recommend you check out my alternative to Godox video. And I'll see you in the next one.